Miss Kimberly! Mr. Jason. How are you doing today? Hi, Dandy, how are you? We're all spiffed up, we're doing yes, wonderful. Yes, yes, because what have we been playing with this past week? We've been playing with Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc? Mont, Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc. Brian and Lisa have been away, and so... The kids will play it. <laughs> <laughs> we snuck into the Mont Blanc drawer. We have these lovely Mont Blanc Meisters. Meisterstück, Moist I think. Moist I, my, my German's a little off. Like and they're it. the Le Grand, sometimes better known as the 146. 146. So how did you like yours? <gasps> oh. Uh oh. oh I you really must have really <laughs> liked it. I really enjoyed this pen. In mine, I had an oblique broad. I had a broad. And so I think that might have helped with my falling in love with it. Mm. It kind of form nicely to how I hold my pen. Yeah. There was no skipping, well, what it is, was just what is, beautiful. What does oblique mean? It's like slanted. So if you look at the nib, normally the nib goes like straight across. Oh yeah, But with this, see there's a little, it goes up a little bit. Does that have anything to do with italics or is that? I think so, I, mm -hmm. we'll say yes. Okay, we'll say yes. That's definitely it, that's, yes. is that it? I had a regular broad. I, I tend to always broad. steal them before yes. you can get at it. So uh, I just always go for the broad. So what's that, what size nibs do they come in? They come in a wide variety. Oh. You have extra fine, mm -hmm. fine, medium, broad, double broad, double. oblique medium, oblique broad, and oblique double broad. So that's like a lot of nibs. It's Holy a lot cow. Of nibs. I didn't even, I I really liked the nib on these. They were really nice. It was very very good. It had a different feel to it. I would almost describe it as more more buttery. I mean, you get that more with broad nibs in general, but it was more more buttery and less paper like paper feed. It was very like yeah, smooth. Yeah, exactly. So and smooth. Even when you're on like a more I guess porous paper or whatever, it was still really nice. Yeah, and they're beautiful nib. nibs. They are beautiful nibs. They're, they're, this one's a two-tone. Yeah, two-tone 14 karat. 14 correct? karat. Yeah. yeah. I was looking at the nib and I found out actually that uh so on, on the nib right. it's beautiful. Uh and I and I always wonder what 4810 meant. 4810, Mr. Jason, is the height in meters of Mont Blanc in the Alps. When it's just popping yeah. out of your pocket or just sitting on your desk, like, it just makes, that makes me smile. It really does. It's just cool. It's cool. So easy to please. Just put a snow cap in front exactly. of it. Exactly. That's one of the things I love on my Pro Gear is the little anchor on it. Yeah. So having having a little something on the a cap. design. This week I was using um, my Sailor and this guy. Uh, and they were both in my case. And then I'd open the case and then there's a little little snow cap peeking out at me and an anchor. Oh, and I'm like, I'm like, I'm oh, like, Hello, you guys. Mr. Jason. Exactly. <laughs> Good morning to you. Good morning. And then I pulled it out and started writing, and there we go. But on top of that, it's got a nice little ink window here. It's kind of like got this rib, uh, like ribbed thing going on. What? It looks really cool with the with the red, doesn't it? <gasps> yeah. I didn't even know that was there. Do you have black in there? Is that why no, you couldn't see? No, I have lavender purple. It's there. Hold it oh up to the light. Oh my goodness. Mm. Mm -hmm. We need one of those. Monocle things. It's just so dark. Mm. The precious resin mm -hmm. is so very nice. So That's dark. Certainly lavender purple in there. Oh yes. Very nice. Very so nice. how do you feel after using this pen? I was like way more careful with this pen just because it isn't my own. So exactly. I never took it home like I did with the other there was ones. No I always pen put abuse. it back. Yeah, no pen abuse. No pen abuse. One. I always put it back in its nice little um, case for the tester set. Mm -hmm. I would still just grab it and use it for jotting down notes. Exactly. It was same so reliable and just an amazing pen and yep. I really enjoyed using it. Yep. They're they're wonderful writers. I mean, they're yeah. just, and it, it's not only that, it's just got such a classic, timeless design. When I thought of fountain pens when I started here, I just like, this is what I pictured. Not necessarily Mont Blanc, but just this. Classic this, black. That design. Yeah. It's nice, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Chic? Composed? Is chic a word? This is not the word I'm looking for. <laughs> Very sleek design, not chic design. Oh, it is um, chic though. Uh, it's certainly a beautiful, beautiful pen, and I would absolutely love to have one in my collection one day. Right now, I'm a nib noob. I feel like this is quite, <laughs> our quite far out of my level. So, uh, you know, oh, I need some some scotch or something after this video. I feel so fancy. Oh, with okay. these Mont Blanc, Mont 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 Blanc, Mont Blanc, Mont Blanc. No, I don't think that it's so. There's no Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc. Blanc. Mont Blanc. <laughs> 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 Nip noobs.